Good morning. Happy Tuesday to everyone. This is another day that the Lord has made and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. I thank God for his many blessings. I thank God for another opportunity to come before you on this Tuesday morning with a brief message of encouragement. I think it's so important. It's so vital for uh, the people of God to encourage one another in these trying times, in these perilous times that we're living in. It's so important for us to to encourage one another. There's so much discouragement uh, that's out there, so much uh, news that can be distracting and, and can really be depressing if we allow it to. But God wants us to lift up our heads. Hallelujah. And look to the Lord. We want to be one that uh, that cares and that prays and uh, has compassion uh, for the people of God. This is a season that we're in. Here we are uh, just a couple of days away from Christmas. And God is trying to tell us. He's trying to uh, warn us. He's trying to inform us that we need to be confident uh, in the work that he has begun in us. The work that he has started in us at the beginning of this year, although we've gone through some ups and downs, some trials and some tribulations, we have to be confident. I often say this is the confidence that I have in him, that if I ask anything according to his will, and that's the key, according to his will, that he hears me. And the prayer petition that I have before him, it shall be answered. We have to have trust in God. We have to have confidence in God. We have to have faith in God. God is still in the prayer answering business, but we need to be in position to make sure that we get our prayer through. We have to be in position. But if we're walking confidently, if we're walking uh, 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 just consistently with God, not sometimes in, sometimes out, not sometimes up, sometimes down. But if we have a consistent relationship with God, then God will hear us and God will answer that petition that we have before. And I know that many of you, you know, God has called you to, to works. He's called you to ministries. He's called you to things that um, maybe you felt like uh, you were not qualified for, that you were not the right person, you were not the right choice. But I'm letting you know today that you need to let the Lord complete the work in you. God is doing a great work. He's doing a great work. He's doing a great work, even in the midst of the, the, the things that we're faced with right now. God is doing a great work. We have to remember that God is still on the throne. He's still on the throne. God is still in charge. We don't have to worry. We don't have to be concerned about all of the stuff that's going on around us. We have to keep our eyes on the Lord, keep our trust, our hope, and our confidence in God. Keep our confidence in God. I want to read from Philippians, the first chapter. I want to start reading um, at the third verse of the first chapter of Philippians 1. I thank God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine for you all making requests with joy for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing, that he which be gone a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ, until the day that Jesus comes back, he's going to perform that work in you. If you would allow yourself, if you would just give in and, and not fight against what God is trying to do in your life, I want you to be encouraged today to let God complete the work in you. Complete the work in me, God. Complete the work in me. Do what you need to do. God bless you. I hope that you all have a blessed week on this week. I pray God will bless you tremendously, that God will use you in a great way, even on this week, to be a blessing to somebody else. It's so important for us to extend outside of the walls of, of our confines and to be a blessing to somebody. You know, there are so many people that are in need, so many people that, that have issues, so many people that are that are really in poverty. And they need help. Jesus said that when you bless the orphans, when you bless the widows, when you bless the poor, you have blessed me. 
let's not be so caught up on what we have and and so 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 uh consumed uh with with our riches and and our finances and our way of doing things let's just let the lord use us let god speak to you let the spirit of god dwell in you richly and let god have his way let his work be done in you and in your life god bless you all i stayed on target today i made it short uh primarily because we're getting ready to go into prayer uh, in just a few moments uh tuesday we pray at 6 30 in the morning 9 a.m uh, 12 noon and at 1500 for all you military people three o'clock in the afternoon we pray uh, so we pray four times uh, a day as a church as a body of Christ and I tell you it's really it's, it's prayer time it's time for us to get serious about what we're doing our work for the Lord God loves you I love you and there's nothing you can do about it God bless you see you next week have a Merry Christmas and we'll talk to you next Tuesday